Hi guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. Now, if you're like me, you've been around the flight sim uh, community for a long time and been in the flight sim for many years, you probably understand where I'm coming from when I say it's a bit of a money pit. That's right, flight simulator is very expensive, especially nowadays when we have multiple platforms um, and heaps of third party add-ons. Now, one big question I get asked in, in the chat of my YouTube videos is, uh, what do you use for this, what do you use for that, what are used for that? What would be your top five picks um, for add-ons to get started in the flight simulated world? So today's video is going to be part one of part two. We're going to be looking at prepared and FSX, and we're going to try to set it up um, to get the best looking sim under $200 US, and that's going to be the challenge for me. Can I get this sim looking beautifully and a good base for under $200? So. So we're going to start from the ground and work our way up. So we've been saying that, uh, let's get started. Now my first recommendation goes to FTX Global Base Pack from the team at Orbex. Now this is probably one of the most expensive add-ons out of the ones I'll be mentioning today, but it will give you the most a bang for buck. It will transform your washed out bland textures from your default uh, P3D or FSX and will give you an instant and a radical makeover with rich and appealing textures throughout your flight sim world. Plus updated a new auto gen textures and buildings. The 3D night has been upgraded with no hit to your FPS. They also updated the land class and added uh, textures for all the seasons of the year. So like I said uh, before, I highly recommend FTX uh, Global. It will give you your best bang for buck and will give your sim uh, the best realistic view of what a natural world would look like flying aircraft over the top of it. And FTX Global comes in a price of $77.65 US, a big chunk of change taken out of my 200, doesn't leave me much, le much left, but um, we will give it a try. Now moving above ground textures goes to my next recommendations, which is vegetation and trees. The default auto gen for vegetation and trees that come with P3D and FSX is very similar to the story that I told with uh, Orbex Global before. There is a couple of products out on the market that will be able to enhance uh, your vegetation and trees uh, experience in your flight simulator, but my preference would be uh, Turbulent Designs Terraflora. Terraflora is basically a replacement for all your default autogen trees and vegetation. Turbulent Designs has completely reworked the optimization of all their Autogen library to boost performance as well as including new textures of HD vegetation and trees through uh, global scale. Turbulent Designs Terraflora is a reasonably cost of $27.54 US, which that leaves me a grand total spent so far of $105.19. So, We'll see how much money we've got left to make the skies uh, pretty and uh, true to life as well. Nine times out of 10 on a day of flying, you're not gonna have clear blue skies. You're always gonna run into different types of clouds. Because it's such an important part of the sim, I thought I would include my recommendations around uh, cloud texture add-ons. In this area, there's also some different products out on the market, but my recommendation goes to the team at Hi-Fi with ASCA, or known as Active Sky Cloud Art. Active Sky Cloud Art is basically a graphic replacement and enhancement of everything above the horizon, such as cirrus clouds, columbus clouds, stratus clouds, thunderstorms, and sky colors and lighting. They have also added a brand new 3D cloud structures which replace or enhance nearly every aspect of cloud scenes within the simulator. Cloud Out comes with a price tag of $29.45 US. Uh, doesn't leave me much in my pocket, but we'll see if we can come up with something that's gonna pack a punch for the sim. Now to have great looking clouds, you need to have a fantastic weather engine manipulating everything behind the scenes to bring the sim uh, flying around to true life. Now again, in this area, there is a couple of products on the market for weather engines that will suit for FSX and prepared. But um, my favorite one and the one that I actually recommend again goes to the team at Hi-Fi with um, their Active Sky. 
Active Sky is a sky and weather engine for your sim, including highly realistic global weather data integration, advanced radar and precipitation simulations, cloud position awareness, synchronization with cloud based effects, advanced air effects, microburst simulations, wake turbulence simulations, and much, much more. Active Sky will put a hole in your pocket for $64.05 US. These products, Orbex Global, Terraflora, Active Sky, and Clouda, will all help bring uh, your default simulator out of the dark ages into the 21st century. And the big question is, was I able to shop around and get the best bang for buck and be under $200 a US? So let's have a look. And the grand title goes to $198.69, so just under $200, and I think they're four great products to bring your default simulator into the most realistic way possible. But hey, if you just caught the flight sim bug, it doesn't stop there. You've noticed I haven't talked about any add-on scenery airports or any add-on aircraft. There is an endless many, many options available when it comes to aircraft and scenery from small airports to medium airports to large airports, from GA aircraft to twin engine to turboprops to business jets, small airliners, large airlines. The offers are endless and the products range from different categories from basic aircraft to study level. And um, I just hope you've got your wallets ready if you catch that flight sim bug. The options are endless but we'll leave all that to another video so this was part one of a part two series so part two we'll talk about x-plane um, so please leave a comment below of your thoughts of what we spoke about on this video I thank you all very much for watching please hit the subscribe button if you like the content and I'll see you on the next video cheers goodbye